I've come 18 hours on a plane from California to give you one message. And that message is, every one of your children is a genius. Every one of your children is a genius. And in this presentation, I will explain how every one of your children is a genius. There's a tradition that before we were born, we had a light that shined above our head that saw from one end of the universe to the other. And this light saw our own destiny, but that just before birth, an angel came up and lightly touched us on the upper lip. And at that moment, the light vanished, and we took birth in complete ignorance of who we were and who we are. And the purpose of life is to rediscover that light, to rediscover our destiny. And that's why they say that we have this little crease here in our lip. That is the mark of the angel. And they also say that that's why if you forgot your car keys or something else and you suddenly remember, you go, oh, I remember. This is the mark of remembering who we really are, remembering that we are geniuses. And if you look around the world, there are many examples of the same phenomenon. In Buddhism, we have Kuan Yin who is very much like that angel. In New Zealand, among the Maori, we have Hine Titama, who was the goddess of infants and pregnant mothers. And if we go to ancient Rome, we find that this angel was called the genius. This is what they called genius. That's where we came up with the word genius. The genius was found to exist in every Roman citizen at birth. And as you went through your life, your genius helped you out of difficulty. And your genius inspired you. And on your birthday, you celebrated not just your own birthday, but the birthday of your genius. And the reason I bring this up is because we're used to the concept of genius belonging only to the few. Only the rare person is the genius, the Picasso, the Michelangelo, the Beethoven, the Mozart. But here I am saying that in ancient Rome, every Roman citizen was considered to have a genius. Also, if we look at the word itself, genius, it goes back to the word genesis, which means to give birth. And it also goes back to the word genial, which means to bring joy. And so when I talk of every child being a genius. I'm not saying that every child will have an IQ of 150. I'm not saying that every child will play the violin like a prodigy. But I am saying that every child comes into birth giving joy to the birth of learning. Every child is born with a motivation to learn, to be curious, to be imaginative. This is what it means to say that every one of your children is a genius. 